What are you at boys? My name is Troy and welcome back to Facility D20. In this video I'm going to show you some quick tips to clean your vat in your resin 3D printer. Come on in, let's get at it. You're definitely going to get resin everywhere so it's a good idea to either put down a tray or a piece of plastic or a rubber mat or something like this. I also like to use lint-free shop towels and I cut them up into little squares or rectangles so I don't waste as much. Before I get started, I also like to put down a shop towel just to help soak anything up that might drip off. So it's been a long time since I cleaned this resin out, not since I printed that dragon. I'll link it up top here if you want to check that out. So I'm curious to see what kind of condition this resin is in. It's been sitting here for like three weeks. Yep, so this resin has definitely been sitting here for a long time. So if you spill any, you want to make sure you get it right away. Don't give it a chance to get down onto your screen at all. So just go ahead and loosen these up. Be careful when you slot it out not to spill any. You always want to check your screen to make sure there's nothing wasted on there. Now one of the reasons I like to lay the shop towel down is so that the screen gets to sit on something nice and soft. You don't have to worry about it scratching it up or smudging it up. Now even though this resin was sitting in there a long time, normally if you just give it a little bit of a stir, the resin just comes back to life and you can pretty much save it all. What I like to do is to use a small funnel and a latex paint filter to just filter out any resin particles. Now you want to be very careful not to touch the bottom of the screen here, so you always want to try to hold the edges. And you'll notice that you have a little spout in your vat. You want to use your plastic trowel, not a metal one, to direct all this down that area into the paint filter. And you want to get as much as you possibly can out like this. And then I always like to place it on its side and never lay it back down now that I start to clean it. I'll leave it on its side for the rest of the cleaning process here. So again, I like to very carefully and gently just bring any excess down. Then I start to use my towels that I cut off into small pieces to scoop up any of the excess. Give that first initial wipe down. Then I like to take some alcohol, 70-90% alcohol works good. Works good in a spray bottle because I can just spray it in here. So you want to be gentle on the tap here and just give it a quick wipe down to keep it clean. Get the sides and the edges. It likes to puddle here in the corners. The spout. While there's a bit of alcohol on my pad, I give the sides a little clean but I'd be careful not to touch the back of the tap that touches the LCD screen because you definitely don't want no resin residue on that. So once that's been cleaned down, sometimes if it's starting to get dirty, I like to give the back a little bit of a clean. If you do that, make sure to grab a new piece of cloth, spray a little bit on the cloth, and just a very gentle wipe down to get any dirt and smudges off it. Again, I always try to keep the vat on its side. Now once that's done, I like to go in with a bit of PTFE dry lubricant just to grease up the tap to make sure nothing sticks, no print sticks to it. To do this, I get another cloth. I spray a little bit onto the cloth. It's enough and just gently wipe it on after the alcohol is dry. And that's more than enough for the next however many prints I do until I need to clean the resin again. Then when you put the vat back in, be careful not to scratch your screen, slide it in gently, make sure it's back all the way, make sure you're tightening down the two little screws a little bit, not too much, just enough to keep it snug. And like that, the vat is clean the proper way. <laughs> 